Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to ETS2. The weather is not that good, but you can stay inside the cab and hear all those pitter-patter sounds. Super relaxing. I really like that. But um, thank you for joining me once again and thank you for all the comments and I'm glad to see that you guys are still interested in the series even after more than 100 episodes. I think this is our 150th episode so maybe we should celebrate or something. We'll see. Anyway, in the previous episode we did a road trip, we upgraded our engine to 710 horsepower and uh, we tried out the engine sound from Krishboom and it's beautiful and I still have it. And I think I found out the reason why it was creating that bit of noise. I think that noise was coming from the sound fixes mod. As I pointed out to you in the Trucker for Hire episode 4. I think that was coming from the S wheel noise. Which is 1.0. So later on when the sound when the when the noise comes back as we are driving, I'll try to tone that down, that value down, and we'll we should see the 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 sound. We should hear the sound lessening as well. That's the ideal thing. Anyway, we are back in uh, Novorossiysk. I think that is called something like that. Yeah, there we go, Novorossiysk. Because I did enable now. I did download Promos 2.17, which is uh, just bug fixes, no real uh, new map area, but lots of bug fixes. And uh, Rust Map 1.6.3, I believe that is. So, as an, as an unfortunate side effect, it reset the game. So, all the jobs were reset. So, even though you wanted to pick the saw, what is it? Sawdust panels, I think, or saw, or saw panels. Um, that's gone now, so we'll have to pick a different trailer, and I found this one, which is kind of cool. So we'll get to that. But before everything else, let me show you. So you, you guys also recommended to me this one. If you look at the dashboard computer. It is different now. I'm not sure... I'm assuming that should be clickable, but... Maybe in real life, maybe not here. And I'm also assuming that that's how it looks in real life, that the computer looks like that in real life. I like that, it's very readable now. I understand things as they're happening. Also, there is a... Uh, where was it? Air pressure low. Really? Yeah, I think it is. There is the turbo indicator right there as you can see. Yeah, very very nice. We'll keep it that way, I guess. So you can, uh, it's 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 the most visual thing you can do in this mod, right? Before we get started, let's go and drop off the mechanic for now, because I have something to change, as you guys commented as well. So you see, your comments are really really important to me. Um, wait a minute. The sewer plate is over there. Because I forgot, you pointed out that I forgot to put wheel arches here in the back. Previously, we didn't have wheel arches there because it was a tag lift. But this time, since uh, we don't have a tag lift anymore, we have a mid lift. Maybe we should have wheel arches at the back and no wheel arches here if there is that option at least. Let's see. Now, where the heck is that thing? Uh, the problem here now is we'll have to find it. I think it's this one. Alright, F plus M, we have M plus R. Perfect. That's the one we want. That's the one we want. Alright, got it. As quick as that, we're done here. We're going. Now, you guys also recommended the Shumi's mod. Shumi's mod for DAF Hero 6. I haven't tried it yet, but maybe in one of, one of these days we'll check it out. So it adds on more parts to this truck it makes the steering wheel animated like when you turn on the engine it it uh, rotates towards you you know how it was in the with Oha's uh, Volvo uh, before the truck we had before yeah that's how it is currently with Shumi Small and also other add-ons as well also why do I not have my wipers There, two levels is good enough. Good. 
Very good. Wow, it's quite complicated in this city. Look at all those winds. Windy roads. So our actual journey will not be that long. It will only be around 176 kilometers, but... What? Wow, zero visibility. I blame the rain. <laughs> I actually didn't see any car there until the last minute. There we go, there's the sound. Can you guys hear it? Now, there were a lot of different versions of comments for this one. Some people were saying it's part of the engine. Some people were saying it's uh, the wheel noise. We'll see. This is the moment of truth, guys. We'll see which one it is. So if I adjust the wheel noise and make it zero, then we should not hear anything at all. Just to test it, right? No more noise. No more noise. None whatsoever. If I bring it back to one, there it is. So it is indeed the wheel noise and that I think is coming from the sound fixes back because uh, that noise is there even when I am using my different profile. Oh come on. Not a good day so far <laughs> in terms of penalties. Hear how noisy that wheel sound is, that tire sound is. But it's just too much. And then I don't really know when that happened, but I don't know. Let's just keep it at point three. I think I put it as point three in the other series as well, right? In trucker for hair. So let's keep it that way here too. Let me verify that one last time. Okay, that's good. That should be more or less perfect for us. Beautiful engine sound. Now it won't be spoiled by that too loud tire sounds. Okay, almost our turn. Hopefully the job's still there when we get there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Also guys, I'm a bit excited. On Wednesday will be the first stream where I will be streaming as a officially a Twitch affiliate. Not yet Twitch partner, but Twitch affiliate. But that means I will have... Um, wow. I actually filled in the forms, did all the paperwork. So like the tax forms, uh, the payment details, and all those uh, legal mumbo-jumbo for being a Twitch affiliate. And now that means you guys can cheer in the channel. Now I'm not really sure if anyone's interested in cheering in my channel over at Twitch. And I'm not even sure if you guys are familiar with the concept. Because some of you might not be into Twitch, but for those of you who aren't, cheering is a bit like um, so. You have what you call these bits, and bits are your currencies for cheering. So you can cheer when you cheer. Any message you type will be put on top, like it will be um, highlighted so everyone can see it for a couple of seconds. It will also usually be presented on screen. So cheers are like the donations, if you're familiar with donations. But cheers are integrated as part of Twitch. And what's good about it is, in the US at least, people can earn bits, which is what you use up for to cheer. If you don't have bits, you cannot cheer. But people in the US, I think, can earn bits for free when they watch advertisements. So some people actually farm for bits by watching many advertisements. And in that way, they can support their favorite streamers by cheering. Okay, but then they actually don't spend any money because they just earned it by, uh, by watching advertisements, which is perfect, right? So that's going to be possible now with the stream. A side effect though is as a Twitch affiliate, I'm not allowed to stream anywhere else. So when I do a live stream, it will only be on Twitch. And then I cannot post the footage on YouTube for one day so for 24 hours Twitch has exclusive rights to that footage but after 24 hours I can easily post it in YouTube as normal so no worries about that and uh, it's gone man it's gone 
Okay. Maybe we need the plan B. It was a very nice route. But I didn't check the expiration. My bad. Alright, let's see. Let's see. That one goes there. Okay. I wanted something that went to the south, actually. We'll think about this. We'll find one. Or maybe not. Wow, everyone wants to, go, wants to go to the west or to the east. No one wants to go south at all. That's the best one we have, but that's a bit far, huh? Yeah, let's keep going here. And uh, we can probably take the asphalt miller, although we've taken that before. Yeah, probably take something else. 352, 209. That's going through here. What else? What else? That can work. 364. But that's basically the same as this one. Hmm. Yeah, let's take the asphalt miller. Why not? Let's take it. So I was planning to go here to the south in Tuapse, I think. Or Tuapse. But then the job's gone, so what can we do? Let's take that instead. Alright. Very good. Heavy cargo capability. Hills reversal. We're good. As good as we can get. Unfortunately. Wait a minute. Is it here? Please be here. Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, I'll take that. It is right there, actually. Good. So at least we'll be able to test the full capability of our truck. Of our new engine. Our new 710 horsepower engine. And I hope, pretty soon, the rain ends. Actually getting wet in this rain. Yes, it is. That is a 44 ton asphalt miller with steerable trailer axles. This is part of the heavy cargo pack in BS2. This is an official trailer. We're good? Yep, we're good. And as early as that, we hit the other trailer already. Okay, I have to be very mindful of this. I have to learn how to steer at the last moment. I don't, I don't, I shouldn't steer too much. And then shouldn't steer, shouldn't stay close to one edge. Because this kind of trailer is really, really fickle. Likes to dance around. Very dangerous. Alright, so let us... Is there any discoverable here? Look at that! That should have been the way we were going. But then again, maybe maybe it's a blessing in disguise we didn't go there. That would have been pretty... Disastrous with a heavy trailer. Alright. So far, looks good. More or less straightforward. Um, there are some towns here. But the way the, the modder did this map... There are towns that you can discover, but you don't necessarily have uh, jobs for them. So you do discover them, but they're not um, pickup points. And there are no discoverables. All right, let's just get on to this. The, the pathing, the routing is good as it is. Whoop. What did I hit? Not a very good day <laughs> for traffic. Is it? I blame the rain. Wow, nice car. Nice car indeed. Now I'm trying to feel the the sensation, the force feedback on the steering wheel. It is a bit lighter than when there is no trailer, but it's still good. It's still heavy. So it does solve the problem that I have when we had that like, tag lift uh, setup where the steering wheel was too light. This time it is much heavier than that one. 
so I think this is the perfect uh, truck configuration at least in terms of distance okay did you notice here at least I'm not, I'm not sure if it's in the rest of Russia as well but the the lights instead of you know when they're green and when before right before they turn yellow they blink first the green lights blink first okay is that good can't even see my trailer here this is gonna be pretty disastrous actually that's already been i've had like three penalties already and we haven't even moved a kilometer with our trailer <laughs> heck i didn't even have a trailer the first two times i got penalized Right, so let's keep it sharper. Let's keep the turn sharper. Like that, maybe? Normally, if it was a normal trailer, I would have gone straight and turned left at the last moment. But the, with this kind of trailer with steerable axles, I think I have to make it a bit different. And that engine sound, that purr, it's just beautiful. it I really miss that sound I like this one I think that's a bit too late for turning at least with this kind of uh, with this kind of setup with this kind of trailer but I'll get used to it hopefully we have uh, over 300 kilometers of journey to get used to it at least hopefully the rain stops soon because I do want to get a nice photo and I do want to admire the view right now we're just admiring the potholes and my wheel is vibrating like mad lots of turns here and the roundabout all right good okay so yes, uh, I will be streaming exclusively on Twitch starting on Wednesday. Now I'm expecting that there will be less people because uh, to be honest, majority of the people that watch me, many of you guys are from YouTube because my main channel is on YouTube, right? So it makes sense. So I'm actually, some people might not be moving over to Twitch. Some people prefer YouTube. Some people don't even have accounts on Twitch, so it might be a problem at first. Um, why, this, why is that blinking if it, it's not moving? And now it moves. Okay, I'll just stop here to be safe. I don't want to get penalized again. The green blinking lights are quite long. It took like 5 seconds for it to turn to orange, to yellow. Amber, however you want to call it. But yeah, that's gonna be a problem initially, I'm expecting. So when I move over to Twitch, I'll probably have less people watching. But hopefully, you guys will um, slowly migrate as well and give Twitch a chance because it's really, really awesome how Twitch integrates with uh, the, the streaming tools in Twitch are really just far superior. And the third party developers just support Twitch more. Is this one of those trolley buses? I can't see the... Oh yeah, there it is. It is a trolley bus. I know the name now. Thank you guys for the comment. Um, and I have to go around because this is, I think, the one which is under construction. Yep, it is. Alright. So, we try to eat up the other lane. Not so much. Just to be safe. Because I don't have visibility, so I can't cut it too close. Oh, and this is our favorite, favorite bus. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're good. I remember this junction. We came here when we first arrived from Romania. Okay, good. Yeah, I was also carrying a, a heavy trailer then with, with steerable axles and stuff. I'm gonna hit that guy. Why are you going all the way forward and not working with me on this one? Ok, 
Okay. And we steer. So the trailer dances with us. Oh man. Okay. Good. Uh, hug this right side see if this helps any there we go okay after a couple of tries it works yeah sometimes the AI is not helping are we good there yes we are so we caused a bit of traffic with that <laughs> with that scenario but we didn't get penalized because it was the problem, it was the fault of the AI for moving forward too much. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, I'm expecting I'll have a bit of uh, lower viewers initially because we're moving to Twitch only. But yeah, the, the tools on Twitch are really, really far superior. That's why I'm ex excited. Previously, I was streaming to Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer, which was formerly Beam, all at the same time. And it was nice because I, I had a better reach, more people to watch. But it was also troublesome because um, I had to maintain all my tools, the bots, the, the integrations, the, the overlays and everything. I had to maintain all those things three times, one for each platform. So I had different tools for each platform. And it was really hectic, it was really troublesome. And sometimes it didn't work so well. And so now, if, when I'm moving over to Twitch only, it's more focused and I can use more of the features, or more of the Twitch exclusive, exclusive features. Because before I could, couldn't use that because I would, didn't want to alienate any other, uh, the other platforms I was streaming on. Now though it works, those, those roads are a bit too uh, sharp. You could definitely feel that. Oh yeah, definitely feel that. bit too sharp hopefully that's not damaging the trailer at all and I think I'm going a bit too fast not really huh but yeah I am feeling those bumps here they probably are hearing it too I think some of there are potholes yeah that one yeah it the roads are not the best I give it that <laughs> Let me turn off my wipers here because finally the rain has stopped. Right, there you go. Come on, ninth gear. Can you push it? Thank you. Alright, the weather has gone good now. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that lighting. So realistic. So freaking real. So yeah, I was actually experimenting yesterday with uh, Twitch uh, features and the, the integration, the, the overlays and everything like that, the alerts. So when someone cheers, when someone donates, if someone does, just in if if for someone is willing to, there would be alerts and all st stuff like that. So I was editing the descriptions and there's even this tip jar. You might have seen this already, but um, there is this jar that you see on the screen and whenever someone donates if someone cheers if someone follows me over twitch that someone something gets dropped on the jar so the jar slowly gets filled as more people contribute and it's just it's just it's not the most classiest thing to see like the jar itself it's pretty standard looking i knew it i knew it i saw that police car and it's like Okay, I'm gonna get booked here. So yeah, the the jar gets filled, and it's a virtual jar. It's you see it on screen. It gets filled with all those bits, all those icons, even my logo. As I drive, slow down. I don't want any problems with these guys. Okay. 
on, you can do it. Very nice roads here now. No more bumps. Very nice painted ones. I like it. Okay, hopefully things go smoother from here on out. In terms of hauling the trailer though, I had no problems. Absolutely no problems with it. Our engine is more than capable of doing that. What's that sound? I think it's from this truck. Weird engine sound. And why is this guy not moving at all? There you go. Yep, that's the sound of the engine of that truck. Weirdly enough. So yeah, I was having fun with uh, experimenting with uh, different uh, Twitch tools yesterday. That's gonna be... That's gonna add more excitement to the stream, more interaction with you guys. So I'm quite excited how it will work out. I'm not excited about the fact that I'm going to lose a lot of viewers though. Because some people won't see me over, won't move over. But I will try to notify them. Um, what I'll do is I will release a video. So I do stream every 8, 8 a.m. Singapore time. That's usually 8 p.m. Eastern time. And um, normally, if I when I go live over at YouTube, the subscribers get notified. But this time, because I'm not going live on YouTube, I'm only, I'm only going live on Twitch. Then you you won't be seeing me. You won't be seeing me live. Right? You won't be seeing that I'm live. What I'll do instead is I'll release a video, which will say, "Hey, I'm live. Go check me out, and uh, see you there over at Twitch." As simple as that. But it should help with the. It should help with the 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 visibility at least so so you guys can still see that I'm live and uh, streaming so it's just a notification train hype over there on the left I guess I see, I'm seeing railroads I think so please don't pull out thank you Afipski discovered and Break. Yeah, actually, even the braking is easy. Really works. Did my engine die or something? It did, interestingly enough. Let's go and beat. Um. Was that the train sound? Because that was super loud. That felt like the ear was that the train was in my ear or something. Look at that McDonald's thing. <laughs> Just a small booth. <laughs> what a cute little booth. Ooh, and I'm seeing buildings. Maybe we're coming across a, a big a big city here. Yeah, as you can see it's very nice and look at that we're actually driving alongside the train maybe we can take a photo as we get through this bridge here let's see yeah the train is there we'll have to overtake it somehow but we'll see yeah if we can capture the moment come on give me a chance there you go uh, it's a bit uh, too far away. Wow, that's quite a long train. Interesting. But that's a very nice layout. Look at that. That looks like something I'll do in Transport Fever, those merging tracks there. Cool. Let me see. Now, where can we angle this from? I think this would be a nice shot. Yeah, a hint of the bridge. And a hint of the train, a hint of everything. Hmm. We could make it work. How about from here? That could work as well, because that's also a train trap. And what is this, like a pond or something? 
I know. All right. So let's take a couple of shots. Let's take one from there. Let's take one from here. I don't see the train though. Let's make it a bit wider. Okay, I, I can probably take one from behind here. There, something like that. Hmm. That doesn't really work, huh? That one could though. That one could. Alright, let's move on. Let's see if we'll find other spots. Okay. Speed limit is 90. I'm expecting it goes lower now. Yeah, 60 within city limits. Which is understandable. Uh, 60. NM. Discovered. Yeah, you can see these cities. They're there, but they're not necessarily pickup points. But they're, they're cities nonetheless. So it's good that they were placed there. So you'll know that you're within the city limits, you know, speed limits will change and things, things like that. Everything but the actual companies for picking up stuff. Oh, it's still there. Look at that. Train's still there. Nice. Although I am having a bit of trouble hauling this now because this is a bit steep. But we are still hanging in there. It's still working. Am I going out the line or something? I probably am. Is that another train? Or is that from my engine? I'm not sure. No, it is from a train, definitely. Somewhere along there. I have no clue where it's coming from exactly, but it does sound near. Super near. There we go. How far away are we? 200 kilometers to go. Not too bad. We're on the highway now, so it should be much smoother. And the visibility is perfect even though the skies up there are not looking too good to be honest. I'm a bit skeptical about that. Hopefully it doesn't start raining again, but look at that sky at the back. That looks beautiful. Oh man. Let me take let me try and take one more shot here, right? It might be a very nice sky view. I'm thinking. Yeah, it might be. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Look at that realism. Um probably from this side. Let me see. Yeah, I like that. I like that angle. And one from here. The detail on that trailer is really amazing. No wonder they took their time. SCS did. Because that is just... Wow. I think that has like moving parts and that... They can easily animate that if they want. Because the model is already complete. Okay, do I have cruise control? No, I don't, right? Let's set that to 90 and just enjoy the ride. Now let me have a look at the computer here. What is this all about? Okay, there's, there seems to be an indicator there. Uh, different options, I guess. But that's all for a show, at least in this game. There is fuel and add blue in distance. We can also keep it like that. But it's a bit redundant. And speed limit is now 80. I'm not sure why. But it, uh, it is, so let's keep it that way. Okay. Thank goodness, because I think we just passed a speed camera. Right, yep. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful here. Look at this. Although, why are these guys slowing down? 
What the heck? Oh, because it's a bridging lane, right? Gonna exit here. Wow, that's that, that was a bit scary, I have to be honest. It would have been nice if the AI was not derping up. But we do what we do. We work with what we have. Okay, I make sure to turn gradually. Not too much and I don't want to stay on the right side too much. I want to stay in the middle more or less. Because this trailer will sway to the right a bit as I steer this bad boy in. And go down to 5th gear. 6th. I'm good. Survive that one. I really love these overpasses. The view looks so amazing from here. And what happened to my air pressure? Whoa! Dude! What the heck? Is this Russian driving 101? <laughs> I think we are... We, we got here but we didn't prep ourselves to for the local driving scenery <laughs> the AI seems to be uh, a bit different than others a bit more aggressive to say the least ah, lovely sky lovely view amazing even at the rear view even the side mirror that looks awesome do we need fuel? not really Okay. We're good. Yeah, I was I was saying it was a bit redundant because the fuel is actually on the left side, right? So the, in the left side of the computer there is this needle. That's basically the fuel as well. So it's very easy to see already. So I don't think we need that on the computer. This one uh, fuel consumption, we do have an uh, average of 53.3 uh, What is that? Liters per 100 kilometers Something to that effect, I believe Do I need my lights? What time is it? It is 7.43 Wow, it's very bright for 7.43 Maybe the sunset in Russia is a bit later During summer at least And I am speeding. My bad. It's so easy to speed now because the engine is really powerful. It doesn't matter that we're hauling a, a 44 ton trailer. There we go. 70. Set that to cruise control and we're good. I think I'll go back to that one. I can actually turn off the DAF sign and just leave the turbo indicator. That can work as well. But I think let's leave the DAF in. Okay, that sounds good. There, this road though doesn't sound good. <laughs> Super bumpy ride. My, my wheel is all acting up with all these bumps okay okay we're good oh yeah definitely one heck of a ride also I was wondering have you guys bought anything from the steam sales so many stuff are on sale I have been tempted to buy so many things but good thing is I was able to hold back with so I haven't actually bought anything yet I'm not even sure if the sale is still on you know I just took a look I was tempted and I closed the window <laughs> before I got tempted even more slow down a bit here cars are piling up in front so I was wondering if you guys got anything let know what it was and if you can recommend anything else, do let me know as well, right? It'd be interesting to find out what you guys got. I'm assuming there are a couple of things that are pretty interesting. Like I saw Project Cars was uh, around 66% off or something like that. So wow, so cheap now. 
like 10 bucks I think would be nice to have a racing game but I wouldn't do good in it for sure but just to see how a racing game looks like and feels like with a proper steering wheel I haven't tried it yet I haven't tried any racing game yet with my steering wheel so if you could recommend anything guys what would you get project cars or Aceto or Seta was it or any other game there it's not as if uh, Zedu Gabel mm. Quite hard to pronounce Yeah, it's not as if I have any other space left in the channel As it is, I'm doing currently 4 series And uh, people are starting to complain already that Some episodes are taking longer Like for example, their, their favorite series take long before the next episode some people are requesting for city skylines, some for trucking, some for transport fever and I have to squeeze them all in my day, in my free time and I have streaming days as well so it's all taking space on my schedule and uh, because of that I think I'm starting to get spread too thin I think this is the limit for series, for running series is the limit so I'm not sure Maybe, maybe I can have five, but that would mean only one episode per series each week because that would mean uh, five days would be one episode for each of the five series and then the two remaining days would be for streaming because I, I stream twice a week. Maybe that can work. It would not, it would probably be a bit too long for some of you guys, but I don't know. You let me know. You let me know. Some people are watching more than one series from my channel, but not everyone. Some people just like one, one of them. Some people enjoy more of them. Oh, look at that sunset at the back. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, and for those of you who are just joining me, I'll just promote this once because some of you guys might be getting sick of me already. Uh, the, the, the skies and everything, the, the weather effects, the raindrops, those are all coming from the foggy weather mod foggy weather 2.0 still currently in pre-beta though dude dude what the heck russian driving <laughs> yeah so all of this is coming from foggy weather 2.0 it's still in pre-beta um, or pre-beta as some of you would say it either way um, yeah so it's not yet available for public for the public but hopefully in a few weeks a few weeks it will but Kirill the modder is doing a couple of adjustments and add-ons he's not done yet he's done so much for the mod but he's not done yet so when he is then you'll be able to have access to the complete set for free of course so do it for that one I, I guarantee you'll enjoy it and you'll never go back to the default colors of SES uh, the default colors of the game anymore because it's this way it's just so realistic all right plug done <laughs> i'm done for the day promoting foggy weather I, I i'm just so it's just something i really like and as i keep on saying when i like something i like to share it with you that's the reason i made videos in the first place because i wanted to share what i wanted to play with you guys <laughs> merging problems that, that could be a hashtag, you know, with the AI. Imagine if the AI had their own, like, Twitter accounts, stuff like that. They'd probably, like, tweet. If they had their own Twitter accounts, they would probably tweet their complaints about the players. Oh, this is this guy again. Overtaking, crashing into me when I'm doing nothing, or hashtag merging problems. <laughs> you could make an ho a whole account just mimicking their so-called um, troubles okay yeah I'm getting a bit of trouble I think I will manage though sixth year push it thank you so 
super relaxing indicator sounds and beautiful sunset I am not sure why we're not moving though am I in the wrong gear? did I hit the, the border again? I am on the wrong range so that's why look at that I find it so weird that I get always hit that. Yeah, look at that. Maybe I could steer like this first, and then I could steer the other way. And then I'm gonna hit in front now. Yeah, actually, you know what? Personally, I find it more difficult to drive with these trailers. It's just so unpredictable. Come on, push it. Push it, push it. I'm wondering if how much damage the trailer has already. How much damage do you have? Zero percent, look at that. No damage at all in the trailers, can you imagine? I can't. <laughs> Ooh, I like those reflectors. That's a very nice uh, effect. Look at that. You can easily see the, uh, the border of the road, which is exactly what their purpose should be, those poles. It's very nice. Anyway, yeah, I still don't get it though. And why don't I have my beacons on? Sorry guys, a bit late, but better late than never, right? Some people were probably screaming at their screens already. Turn on your beacons! <laughs> if only this was live, huh? Then you probably would have uh, reached me already. Anyway, all good, all good. Yeah, I, st I still don't get the, the turning mechanics so much in this with this setup. I'm still quite confused. So, maybe I'll have to stay on the left side actually. If I'm planning to do such a sharp turn, maybe I should stay on the left side, huh? Let me try that. In, in this kind of intersection, it's not so much a problem. Because um, you don't really have a border, like you don't have a wall on the outside of the road. So your trailer can easily just scrape off the grass on the right side and you won't even notice it. But the, why we're noticing it more in this map is because more roads have uh, railings on the side, on the edges of the road. So when you veer off a bit on the road, it's uh, more apparent, it's more obvious. Because that's the way the map modder made it and maybe that's the way it is in southern Russia. We'll see. Right. City limits. Understood. Oh, look at that. Look at how different the sky looks now. Super dark now. Riverin. You know, I have no clue how these things work. How the skybox transition works. It's very subtle. I think I've only seen it uh, change once. And the rest of the times, it's just so gradual. I think the, the game engine really did a good way of doing that transition. So I think from a modder's point of view, you would probably need all the skyboxes, like morning, sunset, night. But how those transitions work in between, I'm not sure if the modder has anything to do with that. Like, do you modify any parameters or is it like the game takes care of transitioning from morning to afternoon to evening on its own you just set the files maybe there are some parameters i wouldn't be surprised kirill if you're watching can you share a bit more on that i'm sure you would be uh, interested to share more on how how complicated your work is i can only imagine it Go. this is quite a sharp turn for a truck Good. 
nice engine sound. By the way guys, is the engine sound fine for you? Or is it a bit too weak now? I might increase it a bit. I'll, I'll wait for your comments though. Uh, let me know what you think. If you would prefer a louder sound. Also you can see there's a bit of bloom. You can see the, the signs are glowing a bit, but just minimally. I remember Kirill adjusting that as well. Because it was way stronger before. Okay. Can I go left? Yes, I can. Thank you. Alright. So many gear shifts. So I'm not skipping any gear at all. Just to be safe. Super dark now. In one of the when was it? I think it it was in one of the streams in the uh, ATS stream we had last Friday, June twenty third. We actually saw that skybox with a rainbow. I haven't seen that yet here in ATS two. It's I think it's a rare one. Seeing that rainbow thing, it's a real uh, it's a real pleasure to see. It's like uh, one of those rare gems that you find. Which is good, because you don't want to see a rainbow every day. That would reduce the the effect. It has to be special, right? So it doesn't it cannot be it cannot appear that often. Now how do you read that gas station? I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because it's just insane. Wait a minute, is that green? I'm assuming it is, but why is it all busted up? Yeah, it is green. But, yeah, it's gone. Okay, I might have turned the wrong way here. I might hit that guy. Yep, I hit somebody, for sure. I, I hit the motorbike. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at this, wait. I hit the motorbike. There you go. Sorry. Oh, it's a lady. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I still don't get it. No clue at all how to drive this thing. It's just so... I'm just turning here, you know? How else can I do it? How else can I turn without hitting anybody? If you guys have any tips for me, do let me know, okay? Because I'm trying to be careful, but... The trailer is just dancing way too much. I might need something completely different. Oh, and look at this. We yeah, don't. I don't have animated gates on, but Southern Region has its own animated gates. The map has its own, and it goes way way faster than the the normal ones. Okay, I'm good there. Here we go, wake up with the parking again. Turning and parking with this trailer, not the best feeling. Actually, it, now that I've driven a couple of these uh, steerable axles, I'm not a fan. I mean, I appreciate it very much, especially in roundabouts. But in normal turning, I would rather have the normal trailer. Like when I'm doing 90 degree turns, I would rather have the normal trailer and when parking as well. So it's much more uh, predictable to me. Maybe I'm just old-fashioned. Okay, let me try turning with that. I don't even see the cones yet, but I'm assuming it's there. Where is it either? Oh, it's there. Way, way back there. Alright. It's a bit too far though. It's a bit too far, but we'll see. Maybe maybe this trailer can manage. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's give it a chance. So he's 
steer to the right that put the trailer closer to the other trailer and then steer up and reverse it hopefully that will give enough of a turn maybe who knows wow look at that it actually turned so much that it crossed over to the other side <laughs> that's insane okay let's try this out one more time I'm gonna hit this no. I hit that I might I'm good. I am good here. Counter steer. Okay, that is perfect. There you go. Um, the notice is gone. There you go. And it's gone again. What? Let me correct it properly then. Let me make it properly all set like so that is as straight as it can get I think there we go can't go any straighter than that one we're good yep we're good turn off the beacons and remove the coupling excellent Nice. 14k. Not too bad. That was excellent, even though we kind of hit a couple of people. Let's ignore that. Uh, let us go and fuel up. And then we'll call it an episode. Maybe we can also rest. We can keep it the morning. Why is the. Is that the tire pressure? Uh, the air pressure, rather. Why does it always sound? Don't really use the brakes that much, I don't think. Really peaceful evening today, night. That's good. Because I don't want any rain anymore at the moment. We've had our fair bit fair share of accidents because of the rain <laughs> nice sounds I think even the sound fixes mode changes some of the sounds there I'm gonna pull out on you sorry thank you okay hmm, there is no sleeping area though isn't there? Wait a minute. There is one right there. Let's get to that place instead. Because we don't really need to fuel up anyway. Yeah? Yeah, we're still quite good on fuel. Now, I hope I'm going the right way here. Yes, I am. Right. It's gonna be a quick ride, guys. So yeah, if you have any tips for me how to properly maneuver those trailers, if you have a video, like uh, the videos work best um, in, in illustrating how the trailers turn and how they should be handled how you do a, a, a decent a proper 90 degree turn and things like that if you have any videos to share illustrating that one I would really appreciate it guys because I do want to drive better with those trailers on just don't get them can I go? thank you I'm assuming it's here somewhere turn on lights hmm. ah here good is that a trolley bus or maybe just a normal bus there we go let's go in reverse park it up sleep and then end the episode
Hey, look at that. There's the moon. Can you guys see the moon? <laughs> Very nice accent. Care of Foggy River. And we are fully parked. I think the sound a while ago was just the reverse, not the air air pressure, was it? <laughs> that was just being me being paranoid. Anyway, oh, I really like that engine sound as it turns off. Oh, beautiful morning. I want to do an episode again now because of how beautiful the weather is. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it there for now, guys. Thank you for watching and hopefully you enjoyed that one. Um, yes, I am looking forward to the comments and if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. In the meantime, this is the Clumsy Geek signing off. Thank you for watching and have a nice day, everyone. Look at that. All daft. Daft country right here. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you for watching and uh, yes, clumsy trucking everyone. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.